Good morning, friends. Welcome to Connect, Learn, and Grow Together. I'm Miss Donna from the Middlesex Early On team. And today we're going to be making French toast bites. But I need to do it out of my own kitchen at home because we don't have a kitchen here. So let's go to my house. Come on. Okay, now we're back at my house and we are going to make French toast bites. What you need is some milk, eggs, sugar, cinnamon, vanilla, butter to fry them in, and bread. I'm using white bread because it's squishier and it'll, it'll squish up better, but you can use any bread you want. So first you're going to crack two eggs into a mixing bowl. This is great for your children to learn um, math skills when they measure. They're using fine motor skills when they're cracking eggs and measuring, but also it's great bonding time for you and your children. So I've got the eggs, two eggs. I'm going to put a quarter cup of milk in. Teaspoon of vanilla. And a tablespoon of sugar. And then we're going to whisk it or stir it. This is good for your children to do. Give it a good stir. Now we're going to take the bread and I usually break it into each piece into about four, into about quarters. So you'll take the bread, and this is good for the children to do too, take the bread and squish it up into a ball. If you don't like crust, you can take the crust off, but I like crust. Squish it up into a ball and put it in your mix. Your egg mixture, I should say. Okay, now I've already got my butter melted here and ready to go. But you would use about four tablespoons of butter to, to coat the pan nicely and give it lots of flavor. Now I'm going to give these a little toss in my egg mixture. And fry them up in the pan. Yum. Now while you're doing the cooking, we don't want the little ones to get too close to the stove, they can mix up the, the topping. The topping is just sugar and cinnamon. So we've got a quarter cup of um, sugar. I forgot my measuring cup, so I'm just going to put a couple tablespoons in here. Don't forget to check below on our lesson plan and then you'll get all the details and all the measurements and everything on, if you click on the lesson plan. So I've got a quarter cup of sugar and a teaspoon of cinnamon. Oh, listen to those cooking. Yummy. So we'll put a teaspoon of cinnamon in here. And then zip it up and shake, 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 shake. Shake it, baby, shake it, shake it all you can. Shake it like a milkshake and do the best you can. Let's see how our French toast bites are coming over here. I'll give them a little flip. Yum. We're soaking up that butter. I decided I'm going to make a few more without the crust for my kids that don't like the crust on, on their bread. So get it and squish, squish, squish into a ball. Squish, squish, squish. This is the fun part. Squish, squish, squish. And then put it in that egg mixture and give it a stir. So now I'm going to take them and put them in my cinnamon sugar and zip it up tight. 
and shake them and coat them in that yummy cinnamon sugar. And then I have a little bowl of syrup. This is great for little ones. They don't have to worry about a fork and a knife. They can just hold it in their hand and dunk it and eat it. Let's try. Mmm. Now our French toast bites without the crust are almost, almost ready. So I'm ready to put the cinnamon sugar on them and gobble them up. Thank you for joining me today and remember to get the lesson plan. Click on the lesson plan for all the directions and try this at home. Goodbye.